And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a Shivana lab. You know, we're doing these legendary labs. We're going through each one of the champions, uh, all 20 of them, trying to put them up on the playlist there on YouTube. So far, 10 champions are there. We're going to be trying for number 11 today with Shivana. Uh, if you've been struggling with Shivana, hopefully this walkthrough guide will help you out. We are, of course, on legendary difficulty. Um, here's our starting deck. Now, there are different passive powers that you can start with with Shivana. Um, there's there's one that I've tried the most, and the one that I've tried the most has been Mana Flow. And I've, I've liked Mana Flow. Mana Flow says you start the game with the additional Mana Gem, and we use Mana Flow on a lot of different champions. I also kind of want to do a different one because we use it on a lot of different champions. But the reason why I like Mana Flow is because it allows you to play, because you have no one mana units in this deck. So Mana Flow allows you to play your two mana units on the first round of the game, which is very strong. But then it also lets you play Shivana on round three, because you know you have the attack token on round three. So you get to play Shivana on round three and attack with Shivana immediately on that round. So that's why I've been very happy with Mana Flow. But to be honest, it's still tough. Like Shivana is a, a difficult champion to, to win with. Um, even with Heroic, it took a few tries using that Mana Flow. And so another person here in, in chat and on Discord said that they, they defeated uh, Legendary using Little Buddies with Shivana. So that's what we're going to do. Let's try Little Buddies because we haven't used Little Buddies for our first power for any other champion so far. So Little Buddies has round start. You summon a random one cost Poro. Um, that's going to just give you blockers, right? Like you don't have any one mana unit, but this will just give you a lot of blockers because it's every single round. So your round, your opponent's round. So if you think about like they're attacking, every time they attack, by the next time they attack, you're going to have two more uh, random Poros. So, you know, you get two blockers before they attack each time. And so that should ho hopefully help us out whenever we get to Piltover and Zon with the Hexcore Foundry and the turrets. You know, it's, it's hard to stop those uh, right away. It's hard to put enough defense out for those right away. So we're going to try Little Buddies to give us these blockers. Now, if we get really lucky, we could hit like Von Yip's Genius for our next power that gives all of your one drop units plus two plus two. And then, you know, then we'll go crazy. So, uh, you know, if you want to really high roll, that would be little buddies into that. So I like this hand. You know what? I'm going to just keep it. I know there's no Shivana. Besides that, I mean, I could mulligan the Strafing Strike. I don't need Strafing Strike. We can mulligan that. But I like the, the you know, all three of these. Like, they're good blockers and stuff like that. All right, we'll just trade Oh no, we won't trade. Yeah, Stravon is a tough one. And so Giffen Ton that says even with using the you know, with using the little buddies and winning on legendary, went into Victor with only six health, like it was still a very close run. Yeah, Shivana Shivana can be tough. Shivana rewards you for attacking, but you need to be able to block enough to stay alive. Follow where I can. I'm liking this little buddy, though. I think this is going to really help us out. The buddies do not block Pearson. You must have some unique insight. Did they go? Okay, good. That could have been frenzied skitter. We worried about that, and then we wouldn't have been able to block like at all. All right, so that challenge is there. We block here. Block. Block. And I am just. I am blocking with the buddies um, because we're going to be replacing them anyway. So it's good to, because you can only have six things on the board, right? So it's good to kind of replace those a little bit. I am watching you, dragon. Oh, fading memories on a screeching dragon. Oh, 
All right, so this will level up Shivana. It's at three out of 12 right now, that, and then that's gonna be seven, and then 12. But still, they'll be able to have their Screeching Dragon challenge my Shivana, unless I do something like Strafing Strike. I guess we'll just be doing that. Also could be playing the Dragon Guard Lookout. So I'm only doing four damage. Oh, this is a free attack. Let's go again. Okay, so we finished out uh, the spiders. Only down four life, not too bad. Alright, so let's see who our second champion is going to be. Who do we got? I'm kind of thinking Leona. We'd have the Solari Soldier we could play on one. Yeah, I think Leona. Gavitana says this is a re-roll. I kind of rather just re-roll the powers. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Leona. I think we could maybe get there with Leona. I don't like using my re-roll right there on the those second on the secondary champions. The passive powers are where I really want to be using the re-rolls, and then sometimes like the the different cards with the items attached. Yeah, we can we can get there with this. I think. Kind of keeping the Dragon Guard Lieutenant because it fits the curve, but we don't have the actual... Man, that doesn't... Will they trade? I hope they trade completely. Yes, good. That's exactly what I wanted. Because, of course, my soldier is going down to a 2-2 afterwards. That's exactly what I wanted. We don't have the Dragon yet for the Lieutenant. Wow, oh, this worked out perfectly so far. Solari Soldier pulling some good weight. There's our dragon. Right on time. Doom Beast always has the quick attack in uh, Legendary mode, so we want to just go ahead and trade there. Alright, so far so good! Okay, this prowess can make the soldier 3 power again for blocking Mistwraiths. Mm. Alright. This doesn't mean I have to have Leona block the Mr. Wraith, this is the only thing that can. Because I don't really care about this Wraith Caller attacking, like I don't care about throwing away a little buddy. But I also want to level up Leona, and so that, that makes Leona 3 out of 4, so the Robin's going to make it 4 out of 4. What if I... What if I go here... Alright, so my plan was to put this Battlefield Prowess on the, this Challenger and have this Challenger challenge Mistwraith, but with them getting the 7-6 out here. Alright, I'm gonna... which I guess I could have done this before attacking double more damage, but... Go ahead and do that for another Fearsome Blocker. For 
Okay, so little buddy's looking good. Okay, Giveton has a good point saying that like the the secondary champion does put six cards into the deck, so it's worth the reroll because it's so many cards. That's a good point. Oh, someone an ephemeral copy of me. Uh, I guess we get ephemeral Shivana. I don't know. I could see kind of going towards more of a Leona deck. Leona looked good there. Now, I don't think that... Yeah, we wouldn't get like two Daybreaks, right? Like, we wouldn't get two stuns if we do that. Maybe it's just the plus two, plus two instead of the ephemeral copy for Shivana. Maybe it's just plus two, plus two. Yeah, maybe it's just the plus two, plus two, actually. We just want that Shivana to be big. Jarvan? we we'll just get Jarvan. Cool. I'll take Jarvan. I don't know what I'm going to do with you, Jarvan, but you can be in the deck. We already got expensive top end anyway, so we probably don't need Jarvan, but I don't know. We'll take it. Probably better than just getting like a 1-1 one -one Poro. Alright, so Mulligan... Uh, Mulligan. I'll keep Leona and Shivana. We'll keep them both. Ugh. But we got these little buddies. We'll be able to block like the shark chariots and everything. What does he want from me? Sit back and block for us. Yeah, that's true. The Poros don't really help in Freljord. Okay. So the Leona will help in Freljord with a stun. Yeah. Love trading with the three drop to slow down this Voltahelia. Something to play. Cost three or less. <laughs> oh, Jarvan. I said I wasn't sure what I was going to do with you. I think we're still there. I think I'm still not sure what we're going to do with you yet. Alright, but now it's going to be Shivana time. Shivana time. <laughs> sure. Okay. So go and block over there. Tough. You block there. Tough. Could give the Shivana challenger. I think there's going to be a pretty good chance of me doing that. So I think I'm going to play Screeching Dragon. We'll see if they play Thresh. Then I give Shivana challenger, and Shivana can kill Thresh. Perfect. I want to slow down. Again, like, I, Spirit, I, we gotta kill Spirit Leech, right? Because otherwise Spirit Leech will, um, you know, turn into, like, maybe another Thresh, by chance. So Legendary Difficulty, they do play Ruination. We gotta watch out for Ruination. But we got plenty of top end cards still. As you can tell. Nothing escapes my watch. I'll just... Pass? Question mark? Oh, that's pretty good. I will fight for Demacia till the day I die. Wow, they didn't attack.
give Challenger to one of these little guys over here. Okay, that's gonna be game. All right, got through Thresh. Very good, okay, so we get a new passive power. Okay, let's pray for Von Yip's genius. That's, that's gonna be what we're gonna be praying for. Make all these Poros 3-3s. Three Legendary difficulty, Jammy. What's up? But anyway, what's up, Jammy? Trifarian Might, Vanguard Lookout. This could give me some more early blockers immediately. But I don't love that. Trifarian Might, when you summon a 5 plus power unit, it strikes the weakest enemy. Right now, Shivana is 5 power. And so we have Shivana, we have Ravin, we have Jarvin, and the Stalking Broodmother. I've always liked Trifarian Might, but so so Shivana will just kill the weakest enemy, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Because then it has, like, the Fury, and then it goes towards the level up. Alright, that should be great with Shivana. Um, I already have a bunch of Strafing Strikes. Maybe we take a couple of Guiding Touch, heal the Nexus a little bit. All right, so I haven't used a reroll yet. Still have those, holding on to them. But we can't take them with us, so we're gonna use them eventually. Uh, actually, you're pretty good, Badger Bear. Nah, I'll send you back. We, I want a dragon, and I want a Shivana in particular. We're definitely gonna be continue to put more powers on Shivana because we want as many Shivanas as possible. Every game we want Shivana. All right, there's a dragon. What is this? I just want to see what they would do. I will take that trade. And our little buddies are doing some good work. And I'm just going to save spell mana. We don't really need to play this other four of there. We're getting poros every single round. Glad that I didn't play Leona. Another day guarding the walls. Your kind will answer for Red Ball. Alright, still have another uh, round before Jarvan. What have done to you? We need to just keep on. It's Yeah, they're not good trades, but we need to keep clearing space because we're just going to keep getting these infinite 1 1s. So it doesn't. You don't have to worry about trading profitably whenever you have. You know, infinite cards and infinite units. Alright, slowing down Alpha Wow Claw. So now. Kill that thing. Mm. Give you the plus. Because right, we're going to open attack, put Jarvan into play, challenging. With me. Oh, that's right, Jarvan doesn't challenge. <laughs> right, Trifarian might. I'm Trifarian might have forgot about that. Okay. 
I can just play you and strike. Should I rally? Your Trifarian Might is awesome. Elusive, elusive. Y'all can all attack. You challenge there. All right, the elusive get it done. All right, so still at 30 life through the hunters. Our deck's looking good. Now let's get some more powers on Shivana. I think we're getting a champion item. I think. Hopefully, let's get something else on Shivana because we want to keep. We really want to draw Shivana's. Okay, not that, but... We can get some dragons <laughs> to go along with Shivana. I don't know, free Kadrigrin? But, like, we have to wait till round 9. <laughs> but, man, that thing's crazy. Or just Overwhelm Infinite Mind Splitter. Tough Imperion. All these do have the, you know, whenever they enter, they deal damage kind of thing. Um... I don't, I don't, I just kind of want to take this, because it's cool. This is probably not the best thing to take, though. Kadrigrin. It's just cool. That's what labs are about, doing cool stuff. Okay, we can get more Jarvins, more Leonas, or more Solari Soldiers. The thing is, is I kind of need more Solari Soldiers. My four through seven mana, I have tons of stuff. So I kind of need more Solari Soldiers, actually. It, that pains me. You know, Leona and uh, Jarvan, especially how Jarvan has the Trifarian Might, so much cooler, but I just took the Kadrigrin. It's hard to take Kadrigrin and then also take Jarvan. A good researcher's not blocking anything. It's just two mana, put a random dragon in your hand, basically. Oh, it's fearsome. I guess it could attack. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Oh yeah, that's true. So yeah, if Egghead makes like one of the nine sixes, like the items stay on the credit cards. So the credit card will have that item as well. Okay, that has to die. No, don't protect it. No, don't protect it. Oh, this is so bad for us. Oh, this is so bad for us. Oh, there goes all my blockers. And now these things are real big. I think having plus one plus one doesn't really matter. Never feel the cold. How to block that. Okay, so 21. <laughs> Thanks, Larry Soldier. Came right on time. Oh, no, 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 no. Cannot do that. Here, you just trade with whatever. Cool. Trade with the Overwhelm. Nice. So they got this O2 in here, so if I play Jarvan, it only kills the O2. I don't want to kill the O2. So let's play Leona. Let's do some stunning. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So it looks like we'll be at 21 life, most likely, for Sejuani. 
So I think that should be fine. Okay, we are going to go ahead and challenge you. So I'm going to heal you. And then you can attack. And we'll put Jarvan in play, just kill that O2, and challenge that. I'm going to just kill two things. Kill two things with one Jarvan. Trifarian Might's a great power. Oh no, my Jarvan! Oh no! Oh, I was... Uh, I was so happy just a little bit ago. These little buddies. They're getting in the way. <laughs> Alright, here's some scout. Lifesteal. Lifesteal is clutch. Lifesteal is always clutch. Let's go ahead and battlefield prowess this thing. Give it a plus one, plus one. So we can heal our Nexus a little more, because now I can I can use Guiding Touch. Oh, Shivana. Okay, so you're only striking for five. You're striking for six. That's still probably worth playing you. Yeah. We feast tonight, Varg. Just you and them. Tear them apart. Because I'm gonna use I'll use the guiding touch on, on the Nexus. So we'll get back up to twenty five before we finish this one out. Poor Jarvan. Okay. Any more board space is an issue. And that should just do it. Should be good here. Come on, drag the rest. There we go. But still, I think the little I think the little buddies has been better than mana flow for this deck. They have worked out well. Another good power would be sharing is caring, so that whenever a buddy comes into play with like whatever keyword, it gives that keyword to all the other stuff. Ooh, these are good options. All three of these. So Judgment's a little slow, and our deck's a little slow, so we're not going to take Judgment, but I like both of these. Like, Heaven's Aligned is really cool, and then Heal Our Nexus. Like, that's that's pretty nice, and it's it's another Daybreak card to help out my Leona. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then, or like Noxion Fervor, when, when you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. So we can basically make a free Noxion Fervor, and then we have like all these little buddies that we can kill... But the thing is, I guess I'm not actually really casting very many spells, am, am I? Yeah, I'm really not. Let's take this Heavens Align that heals our Nexus. Let's do that. Uh, Jarvan plus zero plus two. Just to get more Jarvans in the deck, because Jarvan is very powerful. Yeah, because Jarvan basically kills two things. It kills like the weakest and strongest thing. Okay. We have more Jarvins. Still, still haven't used a reroll. We'll see where our next passive power is. It's got to be something pretty good, because if it's not, I'm rerolling it. Go away, go away. Maybe I need that Badger Bear. I don't know. Researchers into... Researchers into Lieutenant...
killing weirding stones is very important. That's why I wanted to keep the lieutenant, because lieutenant is something that can kill weirding stones. Wording stones. Get aggressive. All right, block that. And then block and block. So we're taking four back to 21. But so far, so good. Got rid of that stones. That's really important. All right, cool. So, so far, so good. Oh, never mind. Not so good. The more we learn, the less we fear. Catch your grin. So that's going to be just a six mana deal six to the weakest thing. No, 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 no. I can't kill that. Oh, I can't kill that. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. You go there, go there, go there. Wait, no, you're tough. You stay. So my hope is try to take out this overwhelm. Oh, maybe I just pass. They waste a lot of mana if I pass. Yeah, I should have passed. Bleh. Ooh, Shivana's good. All right, we're playing Kadrigrin, though, because Kadrigrin starts as a 6-6, six, six, so we'll kill that, so the Fury, so now it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. So I guess can't block 720 anyway. Saw the mana for the strafing strike. This thing's big. All right, so I got to do this. All right, that's what we got to do. Wait till after damage, I guess, and do seven to them. Yeah, I can just wait till after damage. Yeah, we good. It's not like I'm saving Shivana anyway. We should be good now. They've used a lot of Sejuani's. And of course, we're at the point of the game where our Trifarian Might with Dragons is going to take over. Hopefully no more set 20s. Very good. Um, I think it doesn't have Fury, does it? No. Why did I... Hmm. Why did I block with the 2-2? Two -two? I was thinking, like, you know, this was going to be, like, a 7-7 seven -seven with the Fury. No, I was only going to do 6 damage. Okay, I might have... Oh, I might have messed this up. I mean, we should still be fine. Nightfall, create a random Daybreak card in hand. Sure. 
cool. So this thing comes in as eight power. Jarvin! My boy, Jarvin. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. going on here. So Frost bit that, but then didn't attack. Fight for your so there's the attack. Taking it down to six. Oh no. Only the strong is their fourth Sejuani? Because of like Sejuani Spirit of the North and stuff. Alright, so that should kill Sejuani, right? Yeah. Alright. So they're at six. Block, block. Three, four, five, six. Okay. We just gotta replace these. And then go what? Okay, so got through Sejuani. And now this is where we're really gonna see the power of the little buddies, right? Like the little buddies didn't help that much against the scar grounds or the big overwhelms from Sejuani. But we got through that. We haven't used a power yet, so we can or sorry, sorry, reroll. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We haven't used a reroll yet, so we can make sure that this power is going to be very good. When you damage an enemy, you reduce its power. No. Start of the game, get an Emperor. Summon Emperor's Dias. I was thinking, like, get the Emperor's deck. I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. No, the Emperor's Dias or the Sparring Student. Nah. All right, reroll. Welcome gifts. Or all my all Or my... Hmm. Hmm. I don't care about the nature's revenge, right? Because we already have the little buddies also. Because that could just be way too much board. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we do nature's revenge. Welcome gifts is interesting as well. That would just be a bunch of poros with two... Uh, you know, two of these keywords. Maybe we do Nature's Revenge. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna plus two, plus two Leona. Usually, you know, I wanted to put another power on Shivana to try to find something else for Shivana, but the plus two, plus two is perfect with the Leona, because then that turns Leona into five power. And with Trifarian Might, we want our, our champ, you know, we want our cards to have five power. So we get a five power Leona. That's perfect. So now all of our champions will enable the Trifarian Might. So Leona will, like, not only strike the weakest thing, but then stun the strongest thing whenever it enters. Yeah, it's hard to say no to Sapling. Yeah, the keywords are pretty interesting. But this is going to be a little absurd. Now, I'm not keeping a dragon for the lieutenant. Could be a mistake. Maybe I'll just keep this thing. Just the Screeching Dragon doesn't trigger Trifarian Might. Alright, Battlefield Prowess.
So the little buddies will keep eating up the MKs, and now they're going to be just drawing more MKs. Instead of anything better. Let's make it deep. Man, we are going to have a lot of expensive cards in hand that I can't cast. I'm glad I took the Nature's Revenge right now. Because, yeah, we really do need to go wide. No okay, doesn't kill it. Uh-oh, elusive, elusive. But there's so much cool stuff in the sun. Man, these things are gonna be big. I'm Okay. I like our hand. Alright, so let's go with the Leona. So we stun. I know they didn't use the Sunworks map, but we kill the small thing, stun the big thing. Yeah, I figured that they were gonna use yeah, they always use the Sunworks map on the big thing. So we'll go and stun that. Okay, our deck's pretty sweet. Okay. So, Solari Soldier, Daybreak, and then Shivana. So, we're getting towards the, you know, just get another Daybreak towards uh, this level up. Uh, I do not know if the stream is lagging. It looks okay, I think. But maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. Always hard to tell. On my end. Okay, at this point, we need to just clear up spaces. So I'm probably going to have to use three mana for a removal spell to kill this 4-3 elusive. You know, like one of these strafing strikes. Even though I'd like to play Jarvan. Man, we got a lot of Jarvans. I'm still going to just do this over here. Uh, we could fight the 2-2, two -two, but I don't want them to, like, have another thing and shoot the 2-2 two -two or something else. Because I do not want to take that for elusive damage. Let's... Let's just save another chasing strike. Those are my first puff caps. Okay, so now this will strike the weakest one, which will be the 2 2, so we, we want to challenge the bigger one. So that's going to be. Uh, 23 damage? So close to killing them. Um, Plunder Poro, get some keywords. So I have Rally. Do I, I don't have the Rally card? I guess not. Man, we're really bad at drawing Puff Caps. We drew a <laughs> They gave us five total Puff Caps. We drew three of them. All right, that will get like rid of their deck. Each awesome, no spells, no damage. And I don't even get to, I don't even get to play my Catagrin. We're a mana short of that. OK, 
Okay, so they're out of cards. So we got 18 life still. That foundry is always tough. But we got 18 life to try to get through these these turrets now. We still still got two rerolls. Well, these are all pretty good. We get Cadrigrins down to seven mana, or Strafing Strike down to one mana, or Tough on the Robin. Like those are all good. Maybe I should just re-roll and look for something better. Um, I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind any of these. Like they're all they're all good, but they're not fantastic. I guess let's go. Just go ahead and re-roll. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, I would take that last one over any of these, except for no. Never mind. Badger Bear, Badger Bear with Phage, because again, plus two gets to five power. Trifarian Might. Five power, perfect. Okay, so that that works out really well. So that that works out really well. So now we can get Trefarian Might with that. Cool. We'll start with that Badger Bear. Could do two damage to Heimer. I think I want to just get stuff off the board. Should have waited. Should have just passed. I would rather challenge that thing, obviously. Or that thing. Yeah, I should have just waited. I should have just passed. Let's not do that. Alright, kill Fearsome. Now they don't get another Fearsome. Hey Herman, you went 5-4 in Seasonal? Okay. Hey, that's not bad. Like, seasonals are tough. And so, yeah, going 5-4, getting a positive record. Nothing to be mad at with that. Good job. How can I help? Just kind of keep on clearing stuff up. Ours is the one true light. Oh, you're a three three? No mess for heretics. All right, we're taking four down to nine. Um, let's not do that. Take two down to eleven. Okay, so we're at eleven. Not a lot of health. But we're getting okay, cool. We're getting more and more backup every single time. Okay, you played three mid-range decks and everyone brought control. You had a Nivea and Lee everywhere. Oh, gross. That I would not have done well against a bunch of a Nivea and Lee. Awesome. Jarvan keeping their attacks back. Alright, let's go Daybreak. Make a Nightfall card. Um, give me and an ally elusive this round. So this would kill the 2-5, playing it right now. I'm 
we'll give Jarvan elusive. All right, so we're pressuring them a couple of ways. One out of three for leveling up. I know these things all like have quick attack and they're difficult to block, but that's that's what my poros are for. And I wanted to I didn't want to just trade with my screeching dragon because like that gets that two out of three for Jarvan. So I was thinking there. The Trifarian Might is awesome. So yeah, going 5-4 with those kind of matchups, with those, those kind of decks everywhere, that's not bad at all. So 6-6. Six, six. You're a 5-7. Six six also. Let's give you plus one plus one. So you're a seven seven. So seven seven blocks there. Five seven blocks here. Let's throw away a poro. Get another dragon. Oh yeah, and Viola's box. It's a great dragon to have. Oh my sapling. Okay, here we go. This is what we got. Kadragrin. Double up these dragons, plus kill something, plus refill our mana. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to play Envious Vox more than Shivana. Sorry, Shivana. Alright, challenge that. Let's keep Jarvan back, because we'll have leveled up Jarvan. Well, no, we, we are going to have leveled Jarvan. Actually. Never mind. Yes, now Leona. No, my Jarvan! You shall pay for that. Okay, so we're going to be getting through this at, what, 14 life? That's a good amount of life for Victor. Very glad they're doing that. <laughs> Not to my Nexus. Thank you. Make a new dragon. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Catch a grin. Plus refill your mana, plus make a new dragon, plus level up Shivana. This is some true power right here. Oh no, play something else, come on. Boo. Dragon. Dragon, 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 dragon. Get him, dragons. Oh no, they won't let me kill him with the dragons! Wow. Guard bots. Not letting me kill him with dragons. That's so mean. No satisfaction there. No dragon kill satisfaction. Okay. So, we can't do that. We could do Shivana plus one plus one. Egghead Researcher as a 3-5 is not bad at all, just for blocking and everything. Or I could re-roll. But they're... Okay, so we're, we're about to play Victor. Victor has, like, like Ballistic Bot and the Armed Gearhead. They're, like, 2-4s and 3-5s and stuff like that right away. So, like, making Egghead Researcher a 3-5 will really have it, you know, kind of block better. Yeah, Guard Bot BM. So I kind of like that. Like, we got plenty of awesome Leonas and Shivanas and Robins and everything like that anyway. 
We need to make sure to not die right away, and this kind of helps us not die. And it'll also just make more cool dragons for us. Alright, so we're leaving a reroll on the table. But I think this should be should be good, should be good. Alright, we'll keep you. Quick attack, Solari Soldier. Flesh is a weakness, we must shed. Mm. So that's good that it was the created one because now that this bot's a 3 4. Still. Yeah, still sending you in. Wow, they didn't block? So I sent it in to just do 3 damage to the bots to turn it to 1 health so that then my little buddies would kill it. Yeah, it's better than it being a 2-2. Two -two. Alright, what we get? Eh. Maybe not worth it. Alright, so we're gonna save, save the three spell mana for a strafing strike. We'll have either Leona or Shivana here, depending on what we want to do. Alright, so. Maybe Shivana, because then I have the strafing strike. They kill the armed gearhead. Yeah. Well, this so this stuns. This would stun Victor. I am. I'll get the dragon play. Because I'm gonna fight Victor. Unleash new potential. I mean, they have this elusive that I take five. But we get to kill that next round with Leona. We're down to 12. Yeah, Herman, I'd be interested in trying out your Lucian Viego deck. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't like that they have this 3 1. They have this little thing, too, because now these Jarvins are just going to kill the small things instead of. Something bigger. Now there is no greatest talk. I don't know what that was about. The dog barked a bunch just for a second. Mm. Yeah, another elusive is scary. of his scary. Down to eight? Finishes it up. It's a lot of damage coming in. Alright, good. 
defeated at legendary mode with Shivana. All right, so yeah, I think the little buddies experiment worked out. It really did give us a lot of good blockers that just helped us stay alive and helped us get to the dragons. The Trifarian Might was awesome, as expected. Plus, whenever we got, we got so many phages, right? We got to phage the Shivana, phage the Leona, even phage the Badger Bear, phage this Egghead Researcher. We got, a cr I've never gotten four phages before. Just phaged everything with the plus two, plus two. But yeah, turn these Badger Bear, Shivana, Leona into five power for perfect for the Trifarian Might. And then we also were summoning, summoning saplings at the end, so we were summoning saplings and poros. Um, pretty nice. All right, so there we go. That's how you can win on Legendary Mode with Shivana. Um, if Little Buddies isn't working for you, maybe try the Mana Flow like I talked about, how you can you know have your Shivana on round three attack and get to play your two drop on round one. But to be honest, I think that this felt stronger. I did that uh, Mana Flow quite a bit, and I was still losing, still like struggling beating Heroic with just the mana flow and I think this little buddies really helped out because you can also like we talked about high roll with after taking little buddies then if you hit like Von Yip's uh, genius and then th these all turn into three threes you, know, you can high roll with that all right but that's going to be it here though for uh Shivana walkthrough guide legendary difficulty for the lab of legends Remember, this is going up on the playlist up there on YouTube where if there's any of the other champions you want to check out or if you just want to check out more uh, awesome legendary lab gameplay. Check out some of the others. This is number 11 out of 20. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're trying to get all 20 uploaded. Um, yeah, so check out some of the others. All right, but that's going to be it here for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.